Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle and today I have for you a little try on um, type of video. So I do have some new makeup products um, that I want to share with you guys and apply them here with you. See how they apply together, see what all the jazz is about. So if that sounds like a good time, then don't forget to like and subscribe because I do try to post these videos at least once a week here on my channel, either using new makeup or makeup that I already have in my collection, just chatting and getting ready with you guys. So let's get into it. I have tons of new goodies here. I thought we would do a nice little Valentine's Day look using the Natasha Denona. Um, this is the Valentine's exclusive mini crush eyeshadow palette. It does come with the eyeshadow brush, which I will be testing out. I seen this new Amorphe filter effect fragrance concealer on the Ulta website so I picked that up in medium 14 warm hopefully it's a nice shade it looks a little deep um on the website everything looked a little, a little too light so that's why I went with a more medium shade but I like to put a fair shade underneath my eyes usually I also picked up the Milani SPF BFF SPF 30 primer broad spectrum sunscreen um I'm filming this at night so I don't necessarily need the sunscreen but I just want to see how the texture is and everything like that. So we will be applying that primer to our face. I have been testing out this uh, number one to Chanel foundation for about two weeks or so. So I'm going to apply it. I know I do love it. So I thought it would just be nice and bougie to put it on. I went ahead and picked up this other set when it came back in stock because I do own the second one. This is the Westman Atelier Clean Glow Trio number one. It's their Petite Sticks. It has the face... Trace Contour Stick and Biscuit, the Little Highlighter Stick and Lit, and the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick and Petal. So let's apply that to the face today as well. So I do have my eyes primed. We'll go ahead and jump into the Natasha Denona Mini Crush Eyeshadow Palette. And these are existing shades, I believe. Um, and there was a lot of contro controversy um, because these are in a lot of different palettes. And I don't own any of those palettes, so I'm not really mad about it. But... This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like and I think we're going to go in with the lightest shade because I am wearing more of a light pink top. So let's just go in with the lightest. Um, let me grab a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. So I tapped in quite a bit and there's not too much kick up. I tapped into the shade right here, but the brush did pick up a lot. Uh, it feels kind of cheap. It feels kind of cheap. Um, it's like... Um, like a plastic. I already have my eyes primed with Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just going to slowly put this into my crease. The bristles feel fine. It's just the handle is like giving me moda or real techniques types of vibes. But I mean, the palette is only $25, so it is nice that she's just throwing in a brush for free. I believe all her um, minis have been 25 and she's only ever given us a brush with this one. And then the holiday one, which was the Metropolis Mini. So, I mean, I think it's it's decent. This is like the third time that I'm dipping in, I believe. Um, it's building up somewhat nice. It's uh, like a rosy um, brown mauve pink <laughs> color. So yeah, I just want to go for a soft look. And I don't have my brows on yet. We'll, we'll do that once the face comes together. Um, I used to always do my brows before, but I felt like my eye brows are always very stark and powder and stuff would get in them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that to the side. Okay, so no patchiness. Uh, it built up pretty nicely on my skin tone. It is a very light shade, but it's a nice light pink to just start the look out with. So I'm, I don't have any complaints there, but for someone with darker skin tone, I don't know how this will show up. Um, I'm kind of curious to go in with this more red shade, but I kind of want to make it nice and soft ethereal. So I think um, I'm just going to go in with this shade and I'm going to use my finger for that just to see um, how much payoff we get with our fingers. And this is such a pretty like Barbie pink. It's really cute. I think people were saying that this shade was in another palette, but that they were not exact dupes. I think I heard that from Morgan Turner. So if I can find her video, I'll link it down below on this palette. But I believe the other ones are another eyeshadow palettes. So the look is coming out super pretty. 
I'm going to keep just building the shade. Can you bring me a napkin? My nose is running. What? Can you bring me a napkin? So this is what the eyes are looking like so far. Uh, super pretty, easy, natural. Not very natural because nobody really has pink eyes, but very effortless um, palette. So it was easy to create this little cute look. I'm gonna throw something on the inner corner because there's nothing here that I really find that'll work. Um, maybe we'll throw in some of these other colors on the bottom lash line once our makeup comes together. Um, but I quickly wanna throw some of my highlighter on my inner corner. I'm just gonna use this one by MAC. It's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish and Double Gleam. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on my inner corner to give our eyes some lightness. I'm gonna apply this mascara right here. I'm using the Gucci mascara. So I'm gonna pop that on my eyes. And then, um, actually, let's do primer. So let me stop this real quick. So I, I do want to test out the Milani SPF BFF while, um, oh, got the seal on it. I'll apply this while we do our mascara so it'll sink in. It's supposed to be fast absorbing. I'll throw in all the claims and stuff like that. Um, on top, on the screen so you guys can see what all this is um but it's supposed to be fast absorbing it's supposed to have like all these good ingredients slight sunscreen smell like when you go to the beach and apply sunscreen but nothing too heavy it feels like a lotion texture so that's good it's not too heavy texture doesn't feel heavy on the screen i think it's giving me a glow which is good i love a dewy moment i'm very dry skin so any additional moisture will help just pop a little under our eyes why not I'm not gonna lie, it does have a little bit of a greasy feel to it so far, but hopefully it does absorb fully into our skin. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish applying my mascara. I'll come back once both eyes are done and then we can um, apply my, then we can apply a uh, foundation together. I only use this foundation, I think once on camera. So I would like to show you guys how beautiful it is. Okay, so I applied mascara to the top lashes. We'll probably go in with um, some on the bottom if I do add shadow. Uh, but for now, we're going to let this finish drying while we apply our foundation. And then we will curl them at the end of the video. For foundation, I'll be using the number one De Chanel foundation. I do have like a first impressions video of this on my channel. So if you guys are interested, then go ahead and check it out. So I applied that much, hopefully it's not too much. Um, Cause I did like several like mini pumps. I usually just go in with like three full pumps and that seems to be enough, but. Um, it does leave like a very soft, like very skin-like look to your skin. The shade's a little bit too, I wanna say olive on my skin tone. It has like a tad bit green to it. I wish it was more of a yellow. I believe I'm in BD 31. I will probably go with 21 or maybe a neutral shade next time. 
that I um, purchased it because I do want to purchase it again because it is such a lovely foundation. So happy Valentine's Day. This is going to be a very Valentine's Day themed video. So I popped on this beautiful top and did the very soft pink eyeshadow. I'm just going for a very soft, pretty vibes. What do you guys think? So I covered up my acne um, enough. Of course, you can always see the texture there but um the dark spots are kind of gone because i did apply a very liberal amount of this foundation it's a light to medium buildable foundation but it's not going to go past that medium coverage and it is so pretty what do you guys think and you can transform it into more of a matte foundation as long as you powder where you don't want the grease Next, I am so like keen to try out this Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. I picked up mine in medium 14 warm, which I'm hoping matches. It looks very dark in the tube, so this can go very wrong. Let's swatch it just to make sure. Oh yeah, that's gonna be dark. I guess we'll just try it out just for this video to see what the texture is like. Oh, <laughs> that's dark. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with my gut next time and go with the lighter shade. This is orange on my skin tone. So yeah. Um, I'll throw up the claims here so you can see what they're describing this concealer, but it really sounded like it was up my alley. I also seen a girl on Instagram use a different Morphe concealer and her under eye looked follow. So I think Morphe probably makes some good um, base products. I'm not really sure. I know Jessica Brown really likes one of their foundations. And she was taken by surprise. I haven't bought Morphe in like forever. Like I buy their brushes because they're affordable and nice. But like other products, not really. So I'm taking one for the team. It's blending in with my foundation. And it looks a little darker here than the rest of my foundation. But so far it seems to be like a nice thin texture. Um, It's not settling too bad into my fine lines. My fine lines are pretty bad. Everything settles into them. So I'm not gonna judge it too harsh. And we'll probably throw um, some Charlotte Tilbury, what is it called? The Flawless, the, you know, the compact powder. I'm gonna throw that over the top um, to hopefully lighten it up. But I look like I have jaundice. Like if you guys could see me in person, I look extremely yellow under the skin. So that was a fail. Um, I'm gonna have to pick this up in a lighter shade if I do like it. But so far, so good. My skin is looking amazing. Next, I'm excited to go in with this Westman Atelier, um, the Clean Glow Trio One by Gucci Westman. So let's go in with Biscuit, which is their contour shade. Hopefully I'm not too deep for this at the moment because this foundation, as you guys can see, is a lot darker than the rest of my body. So I do want to pick up the Chanel foundation and a lighter shade. So I'm going to apply it there and there, a little more right here. Of course to our nose, cause I like to slim my nose out. You gotta always hit the bottom of your lip to make your lips seem more powdery on your jawline. And of course on your forehead. To pull and snatch it back so i'm just going in with my sponge it looks very dingy but it's just stained i promise you i wash this every single time that i use it okay it's doing a little something but not a whole lot so hopefully if i wear this with the foundation that's more my skin tone it'll look perfect so i'm just going to quickly um Blend out my jawline under my lip. 
hit my forehead. It's giving a slight definition. Maybe we'll try to build it up a little bit more. I feel like my nose is kind of slimmer, but I kind of need to highlight it with a light concealer to make it pop a, a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of contour right here. Let me know if you like the West Montelier formula. I really love their blush and highlight. So yeah, it's showing up a little bit more. I might have dragged it a little low here, but you can kind of see it there. I'm going to add the tiniest bit of shape tape on my nose to kind of um, then do some on my forehead, but no, I'm too dry for shape tape on my forehead. So I'm just adding a little bit to my nose just so we can see that contour more. So what do you guys think? Is the nose snatched? Next, we're gonna go in with Petal, um, which is their cream blush. It's the Baby Cheeks blush stick. And then I wanna say that the highlighter and contour come in the black packaging while the blush comes in the gray. So here's what the blush looks like. Hopefully it'll match this look. Hopefully it's not too much. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit like that, just in case it's not the right tone. And then we can just blend out over it. But I think it's gonna be a nice soft neutral pink. I wish it was more baby pink like our eyes and top, but let's just roll with it. Okay, it's giving us a nice soft look. I might apply more just because I love a good blush moment. It's a nice color. I like it. We really don't need a highlighter with all these glowy products, but I want to go in with the Lit Highlighter Stick. And I'll give you a swatch of this one just because it's supposed to have like blue iridescence to it. And I don't know how that's going to translate on my skin. It looks kind of purpley. So I'm um, just going to apply this directly to my skin and see how that turns out. And it does pick up a little bit of whatever you have underneath which I already knew because I love Nectar, which is their other highlighter in this range. Okay, and it doesn't look too blue on the skin. It's just giving us a nice reflective look. But, um, but I mean, our foundation, the primer, all that was already giving us a lot. So, I mean, you really don't need a highlighter with the, all these products put together. So, yeah super cute i love all the do that's on our face right now so what do you guys have planned for valentine's day are you going anywhere special i'm filming this almost two weeks in advance so i don't know what i have planned yet i'm just setting that morphe concealer hopefully it'll brighten it up with my Chateauberry airbrush flawless setting powder um in the shade one fair to light So I don't know if it's making a difference. It's just making it very matte. So yeah, I, we'll have to go exchange that concealer for a lighter shade. I'm just str strategically, can I see it? 
and my lips are drying out. I had lip balm on in the beginning of this video. Well, I don't. I'm just strategically powdering so I don't look overly greasy. Everything's looking really nice. I do think the brush looks nice with this look. I am surprised. So I just got to throw something on my lips because I hate having foundation or dry lips. Um, I'm just going to throw on the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss and Velvet. We're not going to leave this on for the look, but just meanwhile while we finish getting ready. But yeah, I'm hoping that we can just order some wings or some tacos and just watch movies at home. Um, nothing fancy, like, I just want to spend time with my man. I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows with the ABH um, Brow Wiz and Dark Brown. So, it's almost 7 o'clock at night. And I'm just going to rub all this makeup off, like, wash it all off. And I'm wasting my brow pencil, which I hate having to buy more brow pencils, especially an expensive one like this. Like if it was more affordable, I wouldn't even care, but. These expensive ones hurt my pocket. But yeah, comment down below what you guys are gonna be doing for Valentine's Day. Whether that is spoiling and pampering yourself, spending time just enjoying life. Or if you're going to hang out with friends, family, or if you have a loved one. If you, have, if you guys are going to plan a romantic date or just kick back at home, let me know. Okay, I quickly filled in my brows. We're going to set them at the end of the video. So, um, let me go ahead and curl my eyelashes so we can apply something to the bottom lash line. Look at the difference. I just love curling my eyelashes. I feel like this one doesn't have as much mascara, so I'm going to apply a little bit more mascara to this side. This mascara is on its last leg. I definitely want to get the full size. Um, they have a deal on Sephora right now. This mascara in the full size with the rollerball of the Flora Gardenia, I believe it is, perfume. I'm thinking about getting that one. Since I haven't tried out that set yet and it sounds very intriguing and I think Miley Cyrus was their like spokesperson so of course I gotta get it. So I think we're gonna go in with a little bit of this one and then maybe this one. See how it goes. So this is how much I picked up. Definitely gonna tap off the excess because I don't want this all over my under eye. And the... Morphe concealer is just okay. It's not blowing me out of the water. It's just giving me a soft natural look, which is what I was going for. So I'm not mad at the concealer. Um, I just want it in the right shade because I can't tell if I love it because it is so dark on my skin. So I just added a little bit of it. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side. And I want to tell you the names I went in with, uh, which one is it? Um, Lotus on my crease, Daisy all over my lid. Right now I'm going in with uh, Soul and in a minute we're going to go in with Koi. So I'm using Soul on my bottom lash line, very close to the lash line though. Now I am going to go in with Koi, I did pick up 
a lot and this is how much kick up which is hardly nothing on the darker shade i'm gonna tap it off and smudge this like right below it i'm gonna stop right there because it's getting smoky and if i had more on my outer edge then i would do more but since it's very light on the top i don't want to throw it off balance by applying too much to my lower lash line this is on the very much purple side and i want to keep it more on the pink side you could go in with the black liner or whatever type of liner but i'm just going to leave my bottom lash line bare because that's just how i like to roll same mascara on the lower lash line everything's looking a little bit darker and smoker smokier on the bottom lash line but that's okay the rest of the face is super soft so i think we can still pull it off so overall i think this was Overall, I thought that this was a very pretty palette. I'll see if I can throw in some swatches on the back of my hand. It's just I don't want to get my sleeves all dirty. Um, so yeah, I'll just try to insert a picture of all these beautiful swatches. I'm going to wipe off this lip balm, which is getting all over my chin. Well, it's a like plumping gloss thing, but... So I just removed the Buxom, um, not Buxom, the Lawless Fun, the Lip Pumper, I think it is. We're going to go ahead and apply a lip liner that I want to test out. So I did pick up this uh, Chanel lip liner. It's their Le Crown Le Vrai. Um, 156 Beige Natural. All the other shades were sold out now that they sell this on Ulta. Um, it does come with a little lip sharpener, lip liner sharpener. Super cute. And then the lip pencil is looks pretty long. It does have the pencil on one end and then the brush on the other end. So it looks like this. And then I like how they have the color on here. So if you, you own multiple, you're able to see it. And it has a number on there. This is 156. So yeah, hopefully this is not too light for my lips. Let's go ahead and apply it. It's supposed to be long wearing. I'll throw the claims up on the screen so you can read it. But from what I've heard, these are very good lip liners. They don't really budge. Long lasting, creamy, smooth, easy to apply. This is very similar to my lip soap. I'm not getting a lot of color payoff, but I got this one they were doing the I think it was 10 times the points for platinum and diamond members on lip products. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger because it had been sitting in my cart ever since I started selling this at Ulta. And if I like it, hopefully when the darker shades come and stop, I can pick up a darker shade. So it's just giving my lips a slight definition, but it's not a super um, dark color, so it's not giving me too much contrast. It's so much of my natural lip color, but it's pretty nonetheless very pink and goes with this vibe. So nothing negative to say on this lip liner. I am gonna go in with this Chanel lip gloss just cause it's um, very fitting and it's not gonna add a lot of color to the lips. It's the Rouge Coco Gloss in 7 Tall. Hopefully it matches or else I'm gonna have to take this off. In real life, it does have more of a gold sheen, but on camera, it looks very pretty. I'll try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what this gloss looks like. I was going to apply eyebrow gel, but I think my eyebrows look okay on camera. And this, I took the stopper out of it, so it's a little gloopy. Don't want to ruin the look. So I think I will end the video here. Let me fix my hair a little bit. This massive headband is getting on my nerves.
So what do you guys think of this very soft, pretty Valentine's look? Trying new makeup. I feel so, <laughs> so feminine. Can I say that word? Feminine. I feel so girly. Like womanly, large and in charge. With this soft pink makeup, I feel super cute and beautiful. So let me know what your favorite product was down below, what you thought of it. If um, you're interested in anything, let me know. Um, I will definitely write back to you. Definitely want to try to consider out any lighter shade. I did think the eyeshadow was super soft and pretty. Can't wait to get into some of the smokier red looks. And um, of course, the Westman Atelier. I knew I already loved because I own three of their products already super nice on the cheeks i really didn't need it i could have just bought the um blush in the full size i've been happy with that because the highlighter um all my other face products was giving me a glow including the primer which i thought was nice um it's not bothering my skin anymore so i guess it's okay i thought it was just a little greasy feeling at first but my face doesn't feel heavier or anything like that I knew I loved the Chanel foundation and now I see how beautiful the lip liner is. I will probably order it in some darker shades when they come back in stock. So be on the lookout for those in upcoming videos. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic day with your loved ones or yourself and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care. Mwah. Bye.